Well, while you're busy decking the halls and rearranging the mistletoe just right, make sure to keep it out of your pet's reach. At News Channel 18's Alex Dyro has more now on keeping your pets safe this holiday season. The perils of the season for your pup may not be as clear to see, but officials at the Almost Home Humane Society say around this time every year, several pets end up in holiday-related accidents. We had a cat that looked like it had been singed, so another thing is to watch, it, watch out for its candles. Um, if you celebrate Hanukkah, then the menorah, you want to keep that a high place away from your cat. But it's not just the things your animal knocks over that can be dangerous. With food left out for people to share and different plants being introduced into the home, pet owners are advised to watch out for what pets may try to chew. Mistletoe can be toxic to dogs. Uh, real pine trees for Christmas trees. If dogs or cats swallow those, it can scratch their intestines or their throats. So there's potential for that too. So a lot of cats will try to chew on tinsel, um, decorations on the trees, and of course that can lead to them swallowing it. So you want to be careful for that. Shelter manager C.J. Jones has one more piece of advice for the holidays. Don't give pets as gifts. He says if you're dead set on buying a furry friend for someone, there are other options. If you do want it to be a surprise, you can always come in, look at an animal, put it on hold, and get them a gift certificate, have them come in and pick out their own animal. It's going to be best for the animal and the owner. Jones says ice melt can also be toxic to animals if they ingest it. He also suggests finding an alternative to hooks for Christmas ornaments, such as bands. Alex Dyro, News Channel 18.